Hello guys, Grace 6 at uh, Sunny Valley International School. You are welcome. This is revision about lesson 3.9. Okay, specialized cells. Today, inshallah, you will revise lesson 3.9, specialized cells. Look, please. First question. Read the following paragraph and fill in the gaps with words from the box below. This box below sizes specialized different job contents. The question in plants and animals, each type of cell is space to suit the space it does. Cells specialize by having space shapes and space and by having different space. Okay, look as this specialized cells in animal, muscle cell fat cell, bone cell, heart muscles, nervous cell or nerve cell, blood cell, red blood cell, specialized cells in plants, lock, root hair cells, leaf cell, phloem cell, xylem cell. So the answer now in plants and animals, each type of cell is specialized to suit the job it does Cells specialize by having what? Sure, having different shapes, different sizes, and by having different contents, different contents. This done to suit the job it performs, okay? Number two, link each specialization to the correct cell type. There are five types of cells, red blood cell on the left, muscle cell, fat cell, bone cell, root hair cell. Lock please for red blood cell, sure, like this one, each one so small cells, the smallest cells in your body, each one filled with homoglobin. This homoglobin suit to pick up or carry oxygen from lungs and transport oxygen around your body. Okay, so the answer here, red blood cell contain homoglobin, like here, okay, contains homoglobin to transport oxygen around the body. Muscle cell, sure muscle cell, here this muscle, contains fibers which can make themselves shorter bulging like biceps in your upper arm contains fiber which can make themselves shorter so the answer again muscle cell contains fibers while red blood cells contain contains hemoglobin number three fat cell remind yourself with fat cell this large circular or spherical cells and the nucleus appear in red shifted at one of its corner and leave large space to be filled with fat droplets stored from your meal your, your sandwich okay if contain fats this fat stores inside fat cells so fat cells contain large oil droplets which acts as an energy store as you know Polar beer, for example, contains or possess large, thick layer of fatty cells underneath its skin. Why? To avoid escape of heat from its body to atmosphere or cool atmosphere. Okay? Also, we have as human fat cells in moderate amount. Okay? Bone cell, look at bone cell, this bone cell, sure, huh, produces fibers, extend to outside, this bone cell, huh, possess or produces fibers, extends to the outside, that attracts to deposit minerals like calcium ions to make a rigid solid bone, rigid solid bone, so bone cell produces fibers, 
okay, that attract minerals like calcium ions, calcium ions, okay, to make a rigid solid a bone, hard bone. Last one, look at root hair cells, root hair cell, sure has a long thin side branch to extend from root to outside in soil to absorb more water and the minerals. So the answer has a long thin side branch to absorb water and the minerals. Okay, this is second question. Number three, identify these types of animal cell. It is small and flexible, so it can squeeze through narrow blood vessels. Narrow blood vessels. Which cell that passes through narrow blood vessels? Blood capillaries. Which one? Sure, the smallest cells in your body are red blood cells. Look. The diameter, the lumen, the hollow tube of capillary just only passes one red blood cell in time, not two. Okay, not two beside it, each other. This narrow blood capillaries. Press your fingerprint. You see change in color. This finger tab uh, uh, filled with a lot of blood capillaries. Blood capillaries passes red blood cells to reach all your body cells, your fingertips, your toes at feet. Okay, also red blood cells reach this area as why to deliver oxygen to deliver what oxygen and the nutrients lock oxygen and the nutrients to all body cells and they carry also from the cells carry carbon dioxide as waste okay and other waste to return back to to the heart to push to lungs to uh, to release carbon dioxide in exhaled air. Okay, so the answer now red blood cell. It is large and spherical, so it is used for storage. We talked this before in last slide. This about the cell. Look, fat cell, fat cell. This large area, large volume to be filled with oil droplets needed for winter season for polar animals, polar uh, bears and penguins, okay, to store uh, a lot of fat to be respired at winter to release energy for warmth at these cold areas, okay. It is large and spherical, so it is used for storage, sure, fat cell. Letter C, cells like this can work together not work individually, work together in large groups of fibers. They cause movement by making themselves shorter. They contract to become, to become shorter and huh, pull bones towards your shoulder like this biceps, for example. During contraction, it bulging, it becomes shorter and pull the bones of lower arm towards your shoulder. So the answer now, muscle cells muscle cells okay number four the round cell has a small surface area red blood cells and root hair cells both have large surface areas so the question about two types of cells so your answer also involve two types of cells not one you have to mention both two cells red blood cells and root hair cells in second statement Explain why each cell needs a large surface area. You know, red blood cells here, filled with homoglobin, okay? Why it has large surface area? Why? 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 What is the adaptation of having large surface area? Huh? The answer, to carry more oxygen huh? from lungs to all body cells. To carry more, more underlined words so important to appear in your answer more oxygen not oxygen only oxygen more oxygen more surface area means more oxygen carried by red blood cells by hemoglobin inside red blood cells what about um, uh, root hair cells look this root hair cells 
extensive network, extensive extensions from the main route to outside. This increased surface area. Why? To absorb more water. Here, more underlined also must appear in your answer. More water and minerals from the soil. From soil. Okay? This is number four. Last question here. Identify each of these types of plant cell. As the cells get older, they lose most of their components and form hollow tubes like water pipe at kitchen, at bathroom. Why it is hollow? Which transport water from roots to the leaves? Which type of cell the statement say, ab say about? Which type of cell? Look. Sure, this inside root, inside stem, inside leaves, hollow tubes, hollow channels, hollow tubes. Why? To carry transport water inside from soil to reach all leaves above, maybe away about 100 meters away from the soil. How this water reach highest leaves by xylem vessels? xylem cells xylem cells okay hollow tubes it modified change it in shape in structure no cytoplasm no nucleus to become hollow hollow tube continuous hollow tube lock number two letter b sorry the cells form living tubes to transport sugar from where the sugar produced from leaves so after photosynthesis the plant make sugar in photosynthesis process the sugar not remain in leaves but must be distributed and transported to all body parts of the plant down and up up to apple fruit for example down to root hair cells and root cells and stem cells and so on lock this tissue called what this tissue called the phloem phloem passes sugar to all body parts after photosynthesis. Look, letter B, phloem, phloem cells. Last one, these cells have a very large surface area, very large surface area, so they absorb water and the mineral efficiently. Efficiently, meaning they will add successfully, more successfully, most successfully, efficiently, efficiently, means successfully, okay? So, huh, what's the type of the cell? Sure, root hair cells. Root hair cells increase surface area for more water absorption and the mineral. Okay, locked. So, the answer root hair cells. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.